Now, KLBK Sports with Gene Dumont. Hey there, welcome back. Today is day three of Cowboy Training Camp out in Oxnard, California. And good news for Cowboy fans, Tony Romo is practicing following a procedure to remove a sty under his eye earlier in the offseason. But Jason Garrett will definitely give reps to some other guys at the quarterback position as well as every other spot because he says one of the main goals at training camp is to find where players fit best in order to bring the Lombardi Trophy back to the Metroplex. We're always looking at who we have on our roster, and uh, not only in the positions they're playing, but you know, you, you, you try to you know, bounce ideas off of each other about maybe a guy moving to a different spot. Maybe he's more suited to this or less suited to that. So you always have those conversations, and you know, we want to make sure we give everybody on this roster a great chance when we come out here to practice every day. You know, having said that, the, the competition isn't only among these 90 guys who are here. It, it's with the standard that we need to play at. And uh, if there's someone else... Uh, in this league, on the street, who can come in and help us get to that standard, uh, we're certainly going to be open to bringing somebody in at any position, certainly at the positions where we've been banged up. While the Cowboys are wrapping up day three, the Houston Texans have wrapped up day one over in Houston. And while everybody knows J.J. Watt will start, there are questions other places on the field. Second-year head coach Bill O'Brien is looking for a starting signal caller. Ryan Mallett started two games last year before going down with a torn pectoral muscle. The Texans also brought in former Brown Brian Hoyer, who spent two years with O'Brien in New England when he was the offensive coordinator for the Patriots. Here is coach on how the first day went for these two. You know, I think it was a typical first day, you know, getting back into the swing of things with a pass rush there and things like that. And uh, we're throwing a lot at them, so I thought both guys... Uh, had some good plays. Both guys had some plays they'd probably want to have back, and hopefully we can continue to, uh, you know, keep that going in the right direction as far as more good than bad. But I thought both guys came out and competed today. On to baseball. The Rangers currently sit three games out of a wild card spot as teams start to make their postseason push. And the Rangers got a lot of help this week when they acquired Cole Hamels from the Phillies. Hamels will make his on-field debut tonight, but last night, Hamels arrived at Globe Life Park in the fourth inning. He hung out in the dugout meeting his new teammates and coaches, and after the Rangers win, Hamels talked to the media about joining his new team. You know, I'm out to, to give it everything I have and, and to, you know, at the end of the day, you know, help this club win. And, you know, to be able to meet some of these guys, and, you know, I've faced quite a few of them, um, you know, it's exciting. You know, I've definitely, uh, you know, been following for the past couple of days and trying to, you know, keep up with, uh, you know, doing my, my homework as much as possible. Uh, you know, this team's great, and, you know, I'm excited to be a part of it. You know, and, and that's all I want to do is, is to be a part of it with these guys uh, and to, you know, help continue them to win uh, and, you know, get into the postseason and, and go from there. And I think that's uh, all I'm going to try to do. Like I said, Hamels gets the start tonight against the Giants. That st should start here in about 30 minutes. The Astros, on the other hand, currently in action following last night's heartbreaker. They are tied with the Diamondbacks at zero. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll mm -hmm. get you updated on both of those games. 